Okay, I want to show you how easy it is to use CabMaker the plugin with Cutlist Plus. So we're going to open up an existing project and I've got a couple cabinets here. We'll add another one here in a moment. And uh, But first I want to show you what you really want to do uh, or set up for the units. So this is in inches for the Imperial. Uh, fractional inches with a precision of 1 64th and what's really important is that this display units format is turned off so that you don't get the single or the double quotes at the end because uh, Cutlass Plus can't handle a single pair uh, or a single double quote it needs to have a pair and that's not how SketchUp uh, normally outputs data so um, here we go now we're going to bring up the CabMaker Plus or CabMaker um, Gold plugin, and uh, we're going to add another cabinet, and we're just going to add a, a standard. Um, uh, let's go with four drawers, and um, check off auto drawer size here is not a problem, and zero doors. So we'll have a bank of doors here, and keep the width at 30 or 24. Okay. Um, now let's go check some of these other things. Here's your rules. Here's rules two. And um, materials. Materials now if you notice I've taken out the uh, measurement for each one of these and just left them as basic materials. That works a little better for, uh, for um, Cutlist Plus. So let's go add in uh, this last cabinet right here and here's your bank of drawers um, probably change this one here uh, go to defaults default drawer we won't go with a single arch we're just going to go with a uh, imperial shaker and uh, drawer and we're going to go with shakers for the doors okay and I can batch edit or highlight two of these and uh, edit them as a batch and just apply those doors as well. So there you go. All of your doors are applied. Uh, we're going to save the cabinet and we're going to now output it. And uh, we've output the parts list right here. And uh, it's in the same folder as your um, SKP file so you know where to look for it so um, I'm going to save this and close and uh, now we're going to go into uh, Cutlist Plus now before we do that uh, I want to show you what the parts looks like so he here are your parts um, I <laughs> okay um, I made one mistake here um, what I should be doing is I should be setting the description for each one of these cabinets uh, and they should be unique so this one right here was the mistake so we're just going to put this in here and call it drawer bank and uh, now we're going to um, export that and we're going to uh, save now when we come back into here uh, here's your three cabinets. So please note that we've got 29 and 29 64 for the back, 30 and 3 quarters, 1 eighth, and there's no double quotes on this. Okay, and these basically what, what we have is we have a uh, the top or the first row is the header information telling you what each column is called. We're allowed blank lines, um, Cutmaster Pro and Cutlist Plus both deal with this very nicely. And so we're good to go. So let us go into Cutlist Plus and take a look at the settings. Here's your general preferences. Please make sure that this is inches uh, because that's what we uh, are using and we're not using um, any quotes. but. Uh, the display pre uh, over here, precision, etc. That's f just for how it looks on on your layouts. Okay, at this point we're going to import, 
and uh, again it's off my desktop in kitchen and it's called uh, test so here's the mapping now please note in uh, North America we use a comma uh, in Europe uh, where you use a comma f as a decibel indicator then they use semicolons so you have to adjust that accordingly and then please make sure that you've got first row has headers because it's easier to map if you don't this just shows you your column numbers and it's not necessarily understanding what the information is so uh, what we do is we're gonna we save the import filters I had already done that so all of our mapping is done so each one of the mappings now uh, you can see the names as opposed to column numbers so once you're happy with that finish now we've imported all the parts okay and then from here we um, can show you that the raw materials are already been added into sheet goods for um, for various products um, oops here we go sheet goods so uh, MCP MDF maple MD all of the parts are already in here uh, or, or I'm sorry not parts but the um, raw materials so now we can go into layouts and you'll see that all of your parts have now been optimized and uh, here for instance are the two two sheets of the of the white three quarter inch melamine uh, we were using uh, five eighths for drawer parts I believe or kicks and we're using half inch for drawer parts um, which can be R for rotated um, five eighths uh, Baltic MCP f oh, that might have been for the kicks um, bottoms and backs okay thank you very much uh, hopefully you find this easy to use uh, talk to you later